Hey everybody, this is Mark with iApple Tech One Twitch, and in this video we will be checking out Shotlister for the iPad. So this app allows you to not only create shot lists for your movie, but also schedule your shoot day, which is one of the main features of this app. So taking a look at the home screen right here, we have a list of all of our projects. We can even create a new one right here and import them, which is kind of nice. So you can create your own shot list using numbers or Excel or something like that, and then import it right here. And we have our project. And then if we click that, we can go into our scenes. So we can see all the different scenes in our project and we get a bunch of different information like our name for it, what we want to call it, whether it's scheduled or not, that's what the calendar is on the left side. Then we have whether it's inside, outside, day, night, location, page, number, and length and then we also have our actor number so like on a second we have actors one and two you get a ton of different options in order to customize your project which i really like jumping into a scene we can see that we have even more options so we can pick all of our different settings on the left side so you can really find out where it is on your script very easily and then we have all of our different information and um, anything you could ever really need. What I really like about this app is if we click the gear icon, there's tons of different options that you can enable and disable. So for me, I don't need the check mark for whether it's done or not, so I disabled that. And they even give you one customizable field, so I added mic. So now I know what type of microphone is needed for this setup. And then you get a ton of different options that you can disable if you don't need it. So like. I can rearrange them as well. I can move that down below. It's not gonna show up because it's not even active, but if we click save, we have all our stuff right here. Creating a new scene is very easy. We click the plus button. We can just call this one test. And if we hit save, it'll bring up another window where we can put in a description about it. We have our shot number, which will only be done once you scheduled on the shoot day. And then all of the things we've enabled at the top right here will show up here so I can pick my setup, all of that sort of stuff. Go ahead and cancel that. And it's also really easy to reorganize your things. So, but one thing that's different with the Shotlister app that you don't usually find with other programs is the prep number. Usually it's 2A, B, C, but on this it's 1, 2.1, 2, 3, like that. Then we get our A, B, and C once we go to the shoot day and schedule all of that. So it's a little bit different, but it's actually easier because you don't get confused on all the letters and everything. And the prep number is the order that it plays out in the movie, but the shot number is the order that it's going to be recorded. And I'm also really happy that they include a setup option, which means I know what camera setup I need for each of these different parts on the scene. So I know I'll need to do 2.2, 4, 5, 6, and 7 without ever having to move the camera. So while it's really nice and easy to be able to create your shot list right here, it's not the best feature of the app. The thing that's really awesome about this is the shoot day, and it allows you to schedule your shoot down to the very minute. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things it can do with actually an example. So I'm going to be scheduling a shoot day for the 23rd, and we will say the date is 23rd. Our nickname, we'll just call this office building. And call time, that is going to be 11 a.m. And we will finish at five lunch. We're not actually having lunch, so it's not really gonna matter. It's just a reference time. And let's actually change this to 5.30. We can go ahead and add in you scene. So um, we have our scene four that we're gonna be doing, six. Those are all of the scenes we're gonna be doing on that one day. So we have all of our information right here and we can go ahead and customize it just like we saw before, which is really nice. So we can get all the information that we actually need. And then as you can see, it says A, B, C. And now that if we go back here, you can see we have our calendar and we have all of our letters because they're scheduled. But of course, we don't wanna film it in that order. 
So we would just go ahead and drag it around. So for 10.1 and then 10.2, but I'm gonna go to 10.4 because we have that and this. And you just kind of rearrange everything and do that. You can go ahead and click on this number and we can choose how long it's going to take, which is really nice as well. And you can go even add a note right here. So let's say setup and we can choose how long it's going to take for our setup. And that's going to count over here on the right side towards our hours. So if I go ahead and just say setup, and that's actually going to take us an hour and a half to set up. So now you can see we have an hour and a half done out of our six and a half hour day. And you can go ahead and schedule all of this stuff really easily. If we click this right here, you can see an overview of this. We can easily rearrange scenes, which is nice. I can even change the global time of the scene and it will evenly distribute it without all, within all of the different scenes, which is pretty awesome. So you don't have to go ahead and manually do all of them. And once it gets time, to actually running the day. You can use this to go ahead and check off scenes that are done and you can manually go ahead and override the times if you're going over and you can see how on track you are, which is pretty awesome. You can tell whether you are on time, if you're behind, if you're ahead of time and make sure that your production stays right on track and you finish within the day, which is awesome. And I really love that about the app. So while making the shot list is a nice feature of the app, it's not the biggest thing. For me, the biggest part and the best part of this app is definitely the shoot day. And that's what I really like about this. But there you have it. That is pretty much it. Shotlister is a really awesome app and I love the ability that you can get to customize everything and make sure that your production never goes over the time that it's allowed to make sure you stay on track and it really helps with scheduling things while the scene thing is a really nice feature the shoot day is the headlining feature of this app and it's the best part of it if you like this video and this app leave this video a like and click that link down below to go ahead and download this app for yourself that's it for this video thank you for so much for watching as always you can hit the subscribe button for more videos like this this is mark with iable tech 128 and i will see you in the next one